I'm Mark Ingram with Garage Gurus. Today's tech tip is going to cover how to disable the high voltage electrical system on a hybrid or electric vehicle. There are a number of cases where service information will direct you to disabling the high voltage before working on components on the car. There are a number of different systems that require this type of disconnect. Since voltages run in excess of 300 volts, you need to follow these procedures exactly. In order to, do, to achieve this, you need to have the correct safety equipment as outlined in the service information. Be sure to follow all safety rules. In order to explain the process, we need to touch on battery basics. The high voltage battery system is a fairly complex unit. The black outline represents what's in the battery case itself. The red represents the actual battery pack and there is a battery smart module which communicates on serial data and identifies a number of different situations where the high voltage should be disabled. Also when 12 volts is disconnected from the battery smart module either by shutting the key off or disconnecting the battery, the battery smart module automatically opens these two contacts inside the battery and that disconnects the high voltage source from the actual output terminals going to the rest of the car. For an additional level of protection there is a disconnect switch, an orange switch on the outside of the case that you can pull and this also interrupts the voltage from coming out of the battery case. This just gives you an additional level of protection in case the contacts in the relay were, were stuck closed. The basic disconnect process goes like this. You have the ignition key off and removed from the vehicle. We disconnect the 12 volt battery. We disconnect the orange service plug in the side of the high voltage battery and remove it with our voltage safety gloves on. Then we wait 10 minutes for all of the capacitors in the system to fully discharge. At that point, we follow the live dead live safety procedure to make sure that the high voltage system is truly disabled before we begin work. Let's go through the whole process and show you. The first step of our disconnect process will be to remove the ignition key or key fob from the vehicle and set it over on the workbench. Our next step is going to be to disconnect the 12 volt battery on the negative lead. So I loosen the nut and then push the cable out of the way so it can't accidentally touch. The next step will be to put the high voltage gloves back on and I'm going to pull the safety interlock off the battery case. So I pull it to the left and then I pull it out. Then I'll set this over on the workbench also so it's completely out of the vehicle. The next step will be to wait 10 minutes before checking for voltage up front at the inverter. After 10 minutes goes by, then all the capacitors should be discharged and we should see zero volts. Right before going up front to check that though, what we want to do is verify that our voltmeter works correctly. So I'll touch the leads across the 12 volt battery and I get 12.2 volts. This verifies that my voltmeter leads are good, the meter is on the right scale, and I'm ready to do that test up front. I'm removing the last bolt holding the power inverter electrical cover in place. I remove the cover and that gives me access to the high voltage terminals underneath. What I'm going to do is take the voltmeter 
that I verified its function on the 12 volt battery in back and I'm going to test for voltage on the two high voltage terminals. So I touch across and I should show zero volts. Now I reverse the polarity of the leads and check again. And again, if I get zero volts, that shows me that the high voltage system has been disabled and the system should be safe to work on. But as part of my live dead live process, I'm going to go back and verify that this meter is still working. After verifying that I show zero volts on the inverter connections up front, I want to make sure that my digital meter is still reading accurately. So I'm going to touch the leads across the 12 volt battery just like before. By showing the 12.2 volts, that verifies that my leads are good, my meter was set on the correct scale, and I'm now safe to work on the high voltage system. I'm Mark Ingram with Garage Gurus. Thank you for watching. For more tech tips like these, be sure to subscribe to our channel.